Golden Door Scholarship, Coach Kids, and 80s Night. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Monday, hot dogs. I'm Abby. And I'm Lathan. For lunch today on lines one and two, chicken snack wrap, line three, soup and salad bar with potato soup, and line four, baked mozzarella cheese sticks, and line five, Wild Mike's pizza. A happy birthday goes out to Austin Bell and Marissa Gum. Now, a few short announcements. The Golden Door Scholarship application for DACA students is due today. This week's DECA Backpack Buddies weekend menu was created by first year member Peyton Myers. Thanks Peyton for creating a tasty menu of food items to send home this weekend with Franklin Elementary students. There will be a call out for Coach Kids Club on Wednesday at 1014 in room 305. It will be a new FHS club that is about preparing high school students to become mentors. The monthly meetings will talk about getting to know others, empathy, connecting others with resources and relationships in preparation for a mentoring program that's in the works. The student ambassadors are encouraging students to come out and support the football team this Friday against the Lebanon Tigers. The theme for the game this week is 80s, and don't forget that student tickets are only $5. It'll be a good one. You don't want to miss it. On that, let's send it over to Victor for sports. The boys' 10 team lost to Lafayette Central Catholic 1-4. Jim Osler grabbed the only team point at the second singles position. Jim has really developed his ground strokes, serves, and strategy during his matches. Noah Wilder has a three-set heartbreaker against LCC. Noah continues to lead the team at the one single spot, and he has what it takes to be a competitive tennis player. They will be traveling today to Lafayette to face off against Jefferson at five. On Saturday, the ladies' hot dog soccer team fell to Huskies 3-0. Overall, the lady hot dogs played as much better game than the 3-0 score reflected and was probably their best game played in a week and a half. The loss, however, does drop the lady hot dogs to three, five, and one, on the season. After the game, the ladies had the opportunity to go to Indy 11 to watch them play. The girls golf team placed seventh in the Sagamore Conference Tournament on Saturday. Sydney Caesar led the team with a 99. Emily Shipley followed with a 106. Caesar and Shipley both made second team all conference. The boys and girls cross country teams had a dominant performance at the Clinton County Championship meet. The win gives the boys three championships in a row with the girls winning back to back championships. The boys finished with five runners in the top six, including Hugo Hernandez repeating as individual champion, while the girls finished with five girls in the top eight. That's it for sports. Now on to weather with Lathan. Thanks, Victor. For weather today, expect a high of 80 degrees with the real field being a couple degrees warmer. Uh, there'll be light to no wind, and if the weather gods are telling the truth today, it should be partly cloudy, but let's hope. That's it for weather. Now let's go back to Abby. Congratulations to the Hot Dog Band on an outstanding performance in the Purdue Football Halftime Show. They performed with over 28 high school bands alongside with the Purdue Band. What an amazing opportunity for our band to share the field at ross Aid with thousands of other musicians. That's it for the announcements today. Be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our broadcast. I'm Latham. And I'm Abby. Have a great day, dogs. Baby, let me tell you something. Why are we 